this thing we call time. Is it our making or a dream within a dream? Does it only exist in our imagination? Here today and gone the next, the present becomes the past, forever ephemeral, but no more than a liminal lens to the eye of the beholder. Everything yields to time. Even these words shall fade to whispers that surrender to remembrances carried only by the forgotten ghosts of yesteryear. Is time, therefore, simply a cliché? Time heals all wounds, as though pain measures less with each passing day and is no more than a thing we say when the weight of time's presence is too much of a burden to bear. Time is of the essence, for as we know, life is short and death is sure. The third time is a charm, as though it were a magical spell to conjure when all else that has manifested lacks substance. If time is an illusion, what are we, if not an illusion in the construct of our own mind?